Hey guys, welcome back to Tumblr Creek Bees and More. Man, I'm excited today because you know what day it is? That's right, it's bee day. We're about to, for the very first time since I installed that new nuke, two new nukes of bees into the hive, <coughs> I'm about to, for the first time, crack that thing open and see what we can see. So I've already got my smoke rolling. Let me go grab it, make sure it's still rolling. Yep, we got the smoke is rolling and ready to go. Uh, I've had that going for a little while. We want a nice cool smoke. I've had that going for a few minutes. Uh, we don't want to burn the bees up with the smoke. So I've got that going. Um, I'm gonna go put my suit on, grab Carly with a camera. She still refuses to wear the suit. She said, once I get stung, maybe then I'll start wearing a suit. I said, yeah, you will. So we're gonna do that. Um, Two things that we're looking for today are eggs and larva. It would be awesome to see a queen. I'm not that experienced yet, but who knows what might happen. Crazier things have happened. But really, I'm looking for evidence of a queen. And the evidence of a queen is going to be eggs and larva. And kind of just brood, which is baby bees. So we're just going to go through those frames one at a time. Make sure things are looking good, looking healthy. Uh, I have a feeling one of the boxes may be ready for a second box already. It was really full when we got it. So I'm going to check that out and uh, just see kind of what's going on in there. Man, thank you so much for joining us. It's going to be exciting because we're going to see about, there's about 15,000 bees probably or so. Uh, all together, maybe 20 or 30,000 between the two boxes. It's going to grow, grow, grow over the next few weeks. But uh, hey, hang with me. I'll meet you down at the bee boxes at the hives and uh, we'll see what we're gonna see. Hang on while I change clothes and we'll see you there. All right, we are back and I've got dogs around me, but we're about to get back into the hive. I got my suit on, I got my smoke ready. Man, I'm excited to see what's going on in here. I'm gonna start off with this hive right here. If you remember, it was those hive that didn't have quite as many bees in it. So we'll kind of see what's going on. They have been eating a lot of sugar. I put in a, probably a gallon yesterday or close to it. And it's almost already gone. So uh, I'm gonna look into, I'm gonna pop open this thing and just kind of see what happens. Well, it's stuck on there in the middle. There we go, I got them. I'm a little worried about what I'm not hearing. We don't have a whole lot of bees in this one, but they've been busy. I'm really looking for larva and eggs. And they're kind of hard to see. Once that larva gets to a certain size, they cap it and it'll finish growing there in the capped brood is what they call it. So really I'm seeing kind of what I'm wanting to see there. I'm seeing, I'm seeing larva where I need to see it. Lots of honey being brought in, but larva is what I'm really wanting to see. Uh, out of these We're really trying to put them right back where they are try and squeeze them as close together as I can because you can see where they build they build this on top and in between them and if I don't squeeze them back together they'll just build more and more every week before they'll be all spread out before long so these bees are really in a good mood today they're real gentle and not kind of going nuts, which is a good thing for us, right? You know, I know there's not much that's going to be going on on this first one, so I'm not even going to really check that one. And just start again going through these frames one by one. Is that capped honey? Yeah, that's capped honey. Right there's honey up in there. And then there are lots of larvae, honey, and then they've started getting some uh, pollen around here, the edges. So probably next when we come back, it when we come back, see all this right here, we'll probably be capped brood. When we come back next week and check this out, see there's capped brood, capped honey, and then well there's more brood, a lot of pollen. So we got the the brood, baby bees in there. We got some larva, we got some real bright colored pollen, and then we've got capped honey. 
That's really a perfect frame. Oh, whoa, he got me. Yep, he got me. That's what I get for not wearing my glove and holding on to bees deal. But uh, but anyway, they uh, that was really a perfect a perfect one right there. Just what you want to see. See again, honey, drone, uh, cat brood. These are drone cells. See all these drone cells? Those are the drones. Look here. One being born right there. That's a birth of a bee, folks. Can you see that? Coming out, here she comes. Yeah. This is worth watching right here. Help it out just a little bit. Here it comes, and we just saw a bee be born. Welcome to the world, baby bee. Isn't that cool? You can actually see eggs in that one. See that? You can see the little eggs in it. It looks like a piece of rice. Look in here. There's some really good examples of eggs. There looks like little grains of rice in there. Man, that makes me happy. We got a happy little queen working, working, working. Laying those eggs. I'll probably wait at least another week before I put another one on here. Because they're still drawing this. But you can see they're coming way out here to the edge. Look at all those bees on the edge. They haven't started drawing this yet. But I have a feeling with as many bees as are over here. They'll really start drawing this stuff on the outside. We've got a lot of bees in this one. Lots of good things happening. You know, we saw a couple of those. A uh, couple of those um, frames that were just perfect frames. They had the, the brood in the middle that were capped. Then we saw along the outside, we saw some larvae. We saw some eggs. Up in the corners, we saw honey. Man, these, this is a good, nice, healthy hive, I think. In my inexperienced uh, opinion, I think it's a nice, good, healthy hive. Man, I'm excited for these guys. They're doing good. I'll probably, I would say within about a week, I'll probably add another box of super to this one and let them start working up. This one it might be a couple weeks, but we'll see. Uh, right now, let's get them all kind of pushed back down and see if I can keep from squishing bees. Oops, sorry, guys. You know what? I really probably should have smoked the front a little bit. Well... Kind of try and slide them where hopefully I'm not squishing them so much. Okay, so it has been a week since we closed up that bee box, and I have had some technical difficulties with audio, with video, with laziness. And uh, so I'm just now doing the closing. It's a week ago I did that. So guess what? I'm going to turn around tomorrow and do another one. We're going to check it, check out the bees again, just see how they're doing, how they're growing, see if some of those brood was capped, and probably going to put on a honey super. That's right, a honey super, which means hopefully we get some honey flow this year. So, man, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to like. Click that like button, and don't forget, really, to come back in the next couple days if I can get it on there. I'm going to record it tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get it on there tomorrow. Man, I hope you have a blessed weekend. Hope you have a blessed week. Hope you have, uh, if you've got graduates, man, I hope they have a wonderful graduation. I've got one coming up Friday. 
Um, I know it's a busy, busy time for everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye.